So the property management team are the ones that look after all of our landlords and tenants on a day-to-day -day basis. During COVID, I heard a line recently that sort of related them back to the, the frontline workers of real estate. They were in the front line, they were dealing with landlords and tenants, the changes that were happening so rapidly. It was just amazing to see how they handled that so well. The team adapted quite quickly to COVID. Darren Butcher made the decision quite early in March to shut our front door for the safety and well-being for not just staff but our clients. Some thought that he jumped the gun, but looking back, it was probably the best decision he's ever made. When COVID had actually first hit over in uh, China, I said to Renee, and this was months and months before, I said, this is a real problem. This is going to be monstrous. Look, I'm going to be ready for this if this comes along, and I've got to think about it now. That was the biggest thing. The community was nervous straight away, and I just wanted to make sure that they knew that we were still going to be a rock through it. It was a fairly sudden change. We split the team up. We had people working in isolation. We had teams separated through all of our three offices. This job is tough at the best of times, but when you're on your own, it's, it's even harder. We all rallied together. We even had the sales team help us phone through all of our tenants, do care calls, make sure that they were okay, see if there was anything we could do to support them. Um, and also the community, we had them behind us as well. Uh, working for a company that was that one step ahead was something amazing. So I guess it really shows that Darren just doesn't run a real estate. He doesn't just own a business and um, sell houses. He uh, obviously stepped up. He had to take on a lot of kids as such. Um, and deal with the emotional roller coaster that we were going through, the changes. That was, that was a really proud moment for me to know that I was um, employed by someone that really cared. So I just think that, um, you know, you hire for the heart and the smile. You don't hire for what they're capable of doing. You can always teach that. And I think they just proved uh, that we hired the right people because they had big hearts at the right time. And look, I, I've got to say that I think that they went up above and beyond by a long, long way and I can't thank them enough for it.